Okay, guys, floor nine is when the game Spiral Abyss starts getting pretty hard. This is the first bottleneck I experienced where I really struggled. And as you can see, Spiral Abyss resets every two weeks or so. One through eight doesn't matter. These are all one time, uh, you know, bounties. Once you get to nine and up, they reset. So you want to clear as much content as you can every time it resets. So yeah, let's get into it. How to build a team comp for floor nine. Well, first chamber, every unit's pretty much the same. So you're just gonna have to spread your units out evenly. Chamber two, you're gonna be fighting against a bunch of mobs and a bunch of tanks. So if you have Venti, Sucrose, someone with good CC, some units that have abilities to hit multiple units and do a lot of damage, like Shaoling even, pretty good for first half. Second half, you just want all your burst units, put a couple of strong units there, good luck. If you're struggling with this, this is the chamber that I had the most problem with. You're probably gonna have to refine your weapons and your units and upgrade everything. Chamber three, you want your best hitting DPS unit to take out this monster. And then you need at least one ranger. It'll make it much easier in the second half to disable them. So taking all that into account, my strongest unit is gonna be on the first half as well as Venti for all, for all the mobs. My healer will be Jean, and my support will be Bennett to make my dialect stronger. The second half, I kind of want Fischl to carry this team, so having double Electro is pretty good. Barbara will be my healer, Shaolin will be my supports. So keep those in mind when you're building your comp. Team comps are the most important. Now for me, I've cleared this content a while ago, so I'm going to just 9 star it pretty easily. It's been a while so if you do struggle you're just gonna have to get your units up just be patient and even I can still get deleted here I don't play safely so this first chamber is all about you know getting out damage and surviving because they attack you from a good range I'm pretty much just gonna venti spam venti ult on cooldown An attack while my ventile is popped so I can get some of the recharge back oh then respawn we're just gonna ult through it we'll just keep attacking our venti to hopefully reset actually so much stronger than this I remember when I first did it it was so hard because my units just weren't doing enough damage and yeah I pretty much just invested in everyone made everyone stronger and I hit a higher world level so obviously it's easier now same thing sit in one area of the map they all kind of come together Attack a few times, kite away. Attack a few times, kite away. You want to get caught slipping. I do recommend Barbara on one of your teams. She's one of the few water units in this game, and everyone should have her. That's pretty solid. See, this team is going to be lacking burst damage is the problem. We'll focus the Electro units first. They're kind of easier to kill. And then there's also a pulsating thing on the floor now, so we're taking dot damage. Take that damn. If you can, prioritize fighting the guy with the circle above him or under him, I should say. Because he's the one healing the whole squad. Not healing, but he's the one doing the damage over time on the floor. That's always annoying. Oh, 
What the? Why didn't I hold? That was weird. Getting him at the fight is pretty solid. Yeah, I'm attacking on Barba way too much. Not gonna get one shot in. I'm like way too conscious of my health. <laughs> so yeah, eventually an easy three star. I think everyone should be able to three star this. The best way I cleared this when I first ran was three, two, one in terms of stars. So if you can't three star that one, you have to just work on your units. Really. Okay, so this, I still like taking floor, even though this is kind of useless for my f most of my players. Same thing, Venti. Venti to clump them up. I'll play them all. Let them die in that whirlpool. Follow it up with the dialect gold. It's actually so crazy how much easier this is now. Let me come back and do this a few weeks later. After you work on your units. I don't want to get my ult back up. So by the time I kill 13 units, there you go. So ideally, you want your ult. Oh, this is for Venti players, I guess. Stand on one side, and you can probably get all of them. Well, you just want to kill the two range units. If the mage comes here, it'd be a blessing, but she didn't. Yeah, this whole floor is just a DPS check, really. Yeah, you just gotta get your units stronger. Don't sleep on talents either. Talents make a huge difference. Huge difference. I already kind of forgot. So this is probably the hardest one that most people are struggling with. I recommend just going in, using all your abilities, trying to blow one of them up. I-frame dashing, dodging that. Okay, now that one is dead, I can play this fight a bit slower. I'm getting hit by stuff. I was going to say, and it's also going to be much easier to dodge abilities. What I recommend, if you're really short on time, is to keep running at this Geo guy. Because they're going to come here and try and protect them can get wobbled like that it's kind of tough yeah just keep chasing this dude the other tanks bring the fight to you really need to work on my my razor he's really weak okay you can't get hit by that like that because you might get one shotted to be honest using too much stamina And if you have an ice unit, it would be recommended if you have an ice unit. Or you're just going to sit here and struggle like me. Bring your Kea. Maybe that's what I should recommend. Instead of having Razor here, because my Razor is not that good. Because he has terrible... Terrible artifacts. Terrible weapon. Terrible talent. Better to just bring the element that'll help you in the fight. Move. Nice, it's hitting him. <laughs> but yeah, I can three star now. But priority, I would say if you're going for the two star, just bring an ice element to help you with the axe dude. Unless you absolutely need the DPS to one shot one of them.
when I first tried it, I didn't. Also, when you're in chamber three, you know you no longer need this one. You can also take the chamber ones. This one's kind of useless though. This one's also useless because I don't really charge attack. I guess I'll use the floor one, whatever. This one's also painful to do. I recommend just fighting the hell out of him. Ulting to dodge that. These rocks will start showing up from the floor. Become a nuisance to deal with. And that little homie is just flopping up and down over and over. That will really help me while I'm eating all this damage. Because I'm stupid. Getting these little rocks actually gave me a lot of uh, survivability. I'm using it ults to dodge stuff too. It's really good. I'm like getting stuck. What's. Yeah, so getting the little diamonds for armor really helps. Because when I first fought him, I was getting like one shotted. My units were too weak. Now I can face tank a lot, but. Yeah, you want to make sure you dodge all that. Walk in and out. You just want to go for a one star, generally. Three, two, one was the way I was doing it. So I was taking my time dodging everything when I first tried that. I could just face tank. That's crazy. How much stronger you just get. This is relatively an easy fight. You know, they have very telegraphed attacks for the most part. The only thing you have to worry about is the... The spinning thing that they do. Hopefully you can have them clump together. So they just take AoE damage together. I'm gonna drop him. Now they're clumped up and they're both just taking damage together. Best way to try and run this. Knock one and have the other one like in his vicinity, I guess. Yeah, this half of the fight is much easier. That first half. And there you go. Quick, quick little nine star. That's all I can really do is recommend. Take your time, upgrade your units, because it's going to make it so much easier. And if you're underleveled, you're going to have a bad time. Good luck.